We're not hitting all of the near-term targets for reducing emissions, and that's definitely concerning. But what I see with innovators all over the world working on all the different sources of emissions is that they've got solutions that will let us bring emissions down dramatically. The United Nations Big Annual Meeting on Climate Change is coming up in December. It's known as the COP, or Conference of Parties. Of course, the challenge is to solve every area of emission. With electricity, scaling up solar and wind power as they get cheaper is a clear solution. Also, companies are working on next generation nuclear that are much cheaper, safer, and produce less waste. Manufacturing is a huge area, including cement and steel, because we use so much of it. Companies like Carbon Cure and EcoSim have ways to make cement with reduced emissions. Brimstone even has an approach that allows you to make cement making a source of negative emissions, actually taking carbon out of the atmosphere. Agriculture is another big area. Pivot Bio has a very, very low emission fertilizer replacement that looks promising. In transportation, we're seeing great growth in demand for electric vehicles. China has already mostly switched over to electric buses. In buildings, we can reduce the heating and cooling energy using technologies like AeroSeal that seals the leaks in buildings. When we grade our progress in all these areas, carbon emissions is one thing to look at, but there's also a lot of work going on in adaptation, which is helping people, particularly in poor countries, deal with these negative effects. I've met with African farmers producing more food than ever before, despite climate, by using new varieties of crops and livestock that can withstand the temperature increase. I'm hoping that people's takeaway from this year's meeting is a positive one. I don't want to understate what a big challenge it is to make all these changes, but as we see brilliant people coming in, as we see funders, governments, private sector, you know, I've gotten a glimpse of how human ingenuity is inventing solutions that makes me optimistic we can solve climate change.